Well, the devs heard you guys, and they made a Steam post addressing everyone's feedback, and they made a poll for everyone to vote on, but before we get into that, let's go over why they made the decision that they did. They approached the game wrong from the beginning. They went from 30k people playing to less than 1k, and why is that? Well, it wasn't an enjoyable experience, even without players, and they realized that. They were trying to focus more on PvP and have basic PvE. Well, they're flipping it for Season 5, kinda. And they came to the realization that to have good PvP, you have to have good PvE. With this new direction, they want it to be a fun experience even if it's just you or you and your friends on a private server. So to bring the PvP in, they want progression reliance on doing PvE, forcing players to encounter each other. An example of that progression is a scenario they typed out in the post. I'll read that to give you an idea. You've progressed to the stage where you have a basic dinghy, it's a dedicated combat walker for you, equipped with two stingers for the pilot, a repeater, and a ballista for your two friends. There's still one spot left to build a small weapon or additional storage, but the dinghy reached its hard point limits. Your recruit figures it's time for an upgrade and you know through experience or wikis where you'll likely find it. You decided to go up against a group of Nur Raiders, that's Rupu riding Nur, and they're equipped with ranged weapons. And by knowing the lay of the land you're on, you found them rather quickly. It was a fierce battle, your crew prevailed, but your walker took some heavy damage. It'll take some considerable resources to repair. Furthermore, you lost the repeater on deck, which will be painful to replace. However, on the upside, the raider loot was exceptionally good, and going through the spoils of combat, you've found the ability to construct either a hammerhead rig for the dinghy or a stiletto. You now have a tough decision to make. Stick with the dinghy, or go for the stiletto. The hammerhead rig looks like a good upgrade. It has more medium spots, allowing you to equip an additional weapon and woodworking station so you can craft ammo on the go, making you more mobile. Alternatively, you can consider the dinghy a full loss with all the damage it sustained, spending all the resources to repair it as a big sunk cost. Instead, you also consider going for a full upgrade straight for the stiletto. It costs considerably more resources, but even with the default rig, it has more spots available, making it possible for you to take on bigger mobs. Not to mention you just got a hammerhead rig, which will open up more slots. So it seems they're more so trying to make it a game about doing more with what little you have, rather than just hoping you have more than the other person. Because the game currently is basically about who has more bodies and who has more kits. This leads us to the other key pillar for Season 5, Scarcity. As was illustrated by the scenario, Season 5 will require us to make difficult decisions. They decided not to get into detail just yet on scarcity, but basically the idea is that players will be facing lots of choices about committing to decisions, investing resources, using what you have available right now, and striving for things you want. So with that all out of the way and you have a better understanding of what the devs are aiming for, moving on to the free building and why it's an issue. It's horrible for performance, it's horrible to balance for gameplay, it's horrible in general, horrible to walk around on the deck. Like realistically, it's not a good gameplay format. It's pretty much just been there because people were trying to fend off zergs. Which apparently will not be a concern in Season 5 according to the devs. Now they don't want to force anything upon us that we don't want, so if you really want that free build and keep it as OG at Last Oasis as possible, you can do it on a private server. Now that's not a solution, is it? So they put up a poll for us to make a decision on. The link for this poll is down below, so be sure to cast your vote because it does matter. This is how the devs will be able to hear everyone. So to start, let's go with the most extreme. Hardpoint locations and rotations being fixed. Rigs define the exact location and rotation for exactly one structure. Some rigs are better suited for broadsides, others are better for frontal attacks. Hardpoint locations. Rigs define the exact location for exactly one structure. Players are free to rotate as they see fit. Free placement on walker, no structure amount cap. So basically what we've had so far. 
maximum freedom, but walkers have no specific role, their design matters very little, it's, it's bad for performance, and gameplay surrounding rigs is eliminated. Not to mention it's more difficult to balance for everything in the game, PvE and PvP included. Free placement on the walker, amount of structures is capped by the walker. Sacrificing some freedom, walkers matter slightly more. It fixes some performance issues, rig gameplay is gone still. Free placement on walker, amount of structures is capped by the rig. Rigs don't define the position of the structures, but their amount. Similar as the option above, but the rig gameplay is back in a limited way. Free placement inside hardpoints? To me this one seems completely pointless. Rigs define the allowed areas of structures, but players are free to place a structure anywhere within. Each hardpoint can only contain one structure. There is genuinely no point to that. The poll seems to be split currently between hardpoints with free rotation and free placement, but capped by the walker. Personally, I think either option is fine. It would be interesting to see what they have in mind as far as rigs go, but if they were to do the other option where we can free build and it's limited by the walker, then they're going to have to be extra diligent to make sure they patch any exploits involving building on a walker. Chests phasing through the bottom of the deck, hiding ammo chests on the underside, inside the structure of the locker, stuff like that is going to have to be addressed if they decide to go that route. Which is a lot more work, but would probably be what everybody wants. Having the hard points by free rotation would just be a hundred times easier on the devs as far as programming and balancing and bug fixing goes. So I can understand why they're kind of leaning on that a bit. Let me know what you guys think down below, in my Discord, or live on Twitch. Be sure to go cast your poll. Link is down below. Thank you for watching, and make the most of your day.